Alright, so today, which is Wednesday, September the 9th, not 2015, we are on the uh, uh, Bolum Pass Trail, which starts at um, the uh, Durango Resort, which used to be called Purgatory. It will wind us out, taking us to 149. And right here, one of the most interesting things on the whole place is Graysill Mines here. You can see this sign, and I'll pull this up. And you can pause all that and read that. But Graysill Mine is where they actually found uranium and something else, uh, vanadium. You know, that's the name of it right there, uh, which actually helped to build the first atomic bombs uh, to help stop World War II. So that's the historical significance of this place. And so that's the sign. You can see that right there. Right there is the FJ. This is a road we came up. And in fact, if you look over here, there's a ruin of a little shack that was right there. But then, an interesting thing to look at, or at least I think so. Well, yes, the FJ is very interesting to look at. That's true, but let's do this. Look at those mountains out there. I'll get us in the shade. You see, there's a nice little mountain range starts right there, goes to there. Here, let me zoom that out for you. You can see some of it there. So, we've got that view. But then, you see all the forest there. I mean, this is a thick, thick, thick forest. Billions of pine trees through here, let me tell you. But as we travel along, Right here, you can see there's an old shaft in the ground. It's covered up, obviously, but you can tell that, that was a shaft at one point. So it's a place to be careful to go around and see that. But right here, this is the last remaining cabin, the last remaining building of this whole area. You can see this right here. Here's some more corrugated metal. And wood. This obviously was a, a, a small cabin at some point. You see there's actually flowers growing in here now. Little purple flowers that are really, really nice. Now I got it shaded, but there you go. Right there in the sun, that might look better. Okay. So again, this cabin right here. Here, let's get out of the sun so we can... Uh, see it better. There's a window into it. Yeah, it's going to try to keep you away. You can see, look here. Here what looks like another cabin that has fallen down. So again, you can tell this is the last remaining cabin up here for Gray Seal Mine. This is the last Standing building, that's a full reminder that at one point there was something here. There was someone here. And there were people who made lives here. That to me is what matters, is the historical content of what this place represents, of helping to build the A-bomb to help us get out of World War II. And that people lived and worked here their livelihoods was there. There's the FJ through the window there even. And here, over here. Look at the, the way they built these things. Just notched them and stacked them. There's some kind of old tar paper or something right there for insulation. Here's Back behind it again. And this, who knows what this was. I'm sure it wasn't a porch. This could have been a kitchen, could have been a back bedroom.
It had a window, I can tell you that. You can see right there, obviously. That's the one that we looked through for the FJ. And you can see all kinds of dummies. They like to scratch their names in here and stuff and just be stupid. Even in the wood, look. People are just idiots overall. I mean, they just really are. This thing has real historical significance. I mean, look. So this was a two-room cabin. I mean, this is it. This is it. That's that first double-sided window we looked in. And again, you can see the FJ out there. And right there, that's the sign that we looked at in red. Just so you know where you're at. And here, the boy, the wind's blowing through. It's pretty cool. This is a double-sided window that we looked in. And that's, that's a nice view out, is it not? Let's see. See some old trees and stuff over there. But I think this is something that should be preserved and kept up just as a reminder. This is how people lived. Even as much as in the 1940s. Small little place. Probably raised a family here. And this was home. This was life. This was everything to somebody. When you think about it in those terms, then you have to respect these places. I hope that's what this shows you. Our history is fading away. It's falling down. And it needs to be preserved. Just so people know something happened here. Something good happened here.